Hello everyone. Uh, thank you to give me the floor to present our new initiative, which will start in the first step next year in October, I hope. And uh, the global start will be after the Planetary Health Assembly in Malaysia. The Planetary Health for All initiative, the idea was born after emergency call from a friend uh, from India. They had a huge fruit disaster 2020 with a uh, loss of life and the uh, diocese was underwater and there was a really crazy situation and it was very difficult uh, to organize help in this situation and I, we saw that it's a long uh, not ending story in, in this century so the question was uh, how can we uh, the face people and with our institution help professional in the future we have a lot of uh, aid organizations, uh, for instance, Caritas and uh, the church and in Europe is working in the field of uh, sustainability since 30 years. The big game changer on the global scale was the Laudato Si um, letter from Pope Francis. And after this, uh, there was a huge uh, engagement of the universities, of the academies, and discussion. We have a new movement, the Laudato Si movement now, with over 900 organizations working in 43 countries, which focus already strong on the healthy planet and healthy people um, topic. Um, and uh, of course, we have a season of creation now, a very big one, and um, the most important step was maybe last year the launch of the new Laudato Si action platform. You can see on the right side the areas of actions, uh, spirituality, education, economics, lifestyle, and so on. So we have a lot of actions now inside the church, in schools. We have about 100,000 schools and so on. And uh, there was also a very important meeting last year. Uh, for the uh, cooperation of the world religion in this topic and there was a very interesting uh, um, statement that there is a moral obligation to cooperate in the healing of the planet. You must know that many religions are active or work in centuries in the healthcare sector and our church for example has one of the biggest in the world uh, not only 4,000 hospitals, I think 50,000 healthcare centers. So the simple idea is to extend this work to the whole planet in the next future. One concrete starting point is the uh, educational sector. Another one more for the churches and religious, of course, are the, the whole lifestyle sector. Yes, we think we must build uh, capacities uh, in the educational sector to um, educate 10,000 professionals for planetary health in the next years and uh, also much more until 2050. And of course, uh, this is huge numbers, but we have uh, uh, also huge capacities. And um, the more critical point is a question how we want to pay all these operations. And therefore, uh, we are planning or uh, planned already a green power and offensive uh, to build um, green power uh, installations on face land and uh, church land. And also the question was simply what should these professionals do and so we are also working on a new platform which is called We Operate, um, that uh, we can, that these people can um, work on all levels and fields of applications. Yes, we have a potential. Where we can be much more professional in the future with planetary health, and planetary health can be uh, become a professional approach for the face communities like social and health work uh, soon it is a uh, hope and it's of course a big task and i hope we we can bring this on the road thank you very much